managerial change today. Millwall have sacked Ian Holloway. The former Blackpool and Crystal Palace manager had been in charge at the Dens since January 2014 and helped them avoid relegation last year. However, Millwall have lost five of their last six matches and he leaves them second from bottom in the championship. Well, this is what the Millwall chairman, John Berylson, has had to say. This was a hard decision to take because we very much hope that Ollie would prove to be the man to take us forward. I would like to thank him for his efforts and in particular for keeping us in the championship last May. This season, though, has proved to be an extremely challenging one and we now find ourselves facing another uphill battle to avoid relegation. Our view is that the decision to part company at this stage is in the best interests of the football club going forward. So Holloway's final match in charge of Millwall was a 4-1 home defeat against Norwich on Saturday, their fourth successive loss in the league. So Holloway only lasts uh, 62 games in all at Millwall. He won just 14 of those, drawing 19 and losing 29. Saw his team score 55 goals but conceded nearly 100. Ian's had a horrendous run. You know, October the 25th was the last home victory. He's tried many different formations. He's played 4-5-1, 4-4-2, 4-3-3, conceded goals at an alarming rate, changed personnel within that group and still lost games. I think Ian, I have to say, had made a lot of mistakes. I, I, I never like it when I see managers make lots of changes. If you change things, you change them. As a manager, you've got to get them right. You're paid to make changes that improve the team. If that continues in exactly the same vein, you keep losing the same way. And Millwall, as you saw by the stats, conceded a lot of goals, nearly two a game. You know, that's a lot of goals to concede. That's hard to win football matches. Yeah, they've been really struggling of late. Millwall second from bottom in the championship. Eight points adrift from safety after picking up just uh, three wins since October. Well, Neil Harris will take charge for the remainder of the season. He also served as caretaker for three games last season after Millwall sacked Steve Lomas before they appointed Holloway. He is the club's all-time record goal scorer with 138 during two spells at the club. He's been working with the club's elite development squad. Bringing Neil Harris in, he's a bit of a legend at the club. He scored over 100 goals there and the, the fans will take to him and they will get behind him. And that's what you need because if you think of years gone by when I played against Mill, fans have always been brilliant, got behind. And it's a hard place to go and get results. But n nowadays it looks like it's too easy to go to Mill and, and get results. And another thing with Holloway is that he's used um, 37 players. I think you need a settled team. I think if you keep chopping and changing the team every week, then you, you can't get settled. You need to build up a run of games. Well, Neil Harris's first game in charge will be away at Bolton on Saturday, but then four of his next five games are at home. So there is a chance for them to move towards safety, but there's some tough games involved. Uh, home games against Brighton, Charlton, Watford and Wigan, plus the trip across London to Brentford. OK, let's head across uh, London ourselves now and head to the Millwall training ground. And we can hear from our reporter, Aidan McGee, with the latest. Uh, good afternoon to you, Aidan. Hi Adam, yeah, quite simply, uh, Mill still recovering from the news this morning that Ian Holloway has left. The players arrived about 10 o'clock this morning. Neil Harris uh, got here, he's already the first team coach of course, he got here just a short time before that. And as you say, the, the statistics in terms of Ian Holloway's record this season speak for themselves. Seven wins from the 36 games, no wins at home since October the 25th, eight points off safety. I did manage to speak to somebody in the dressing room Earlier today, he expressed his disappointment at Holloway's departure. They were told by the CEO, Andy Ambler, at a meeting this morning as soon as they arrived from training. But there is a feeling among the squad, he tells me, that while the points gap remains at just eight points, there is an op every opportunity that they can get out of this situation, just as they did when Ian Holloway arrived in January 2014 uh, last year, as I say. Uh, other sources tell me that the wider problem is that the, pl the club have failed to attract sufficient loan signings, they haven't been paying, the pay structure sorry, here uh, restricts players from coming here and maybe pushing the club up the way they would expect to and that's probably why they find themselves in the position they're in. They're in their fifth season at this level after being promoted to the Championship uh, in 2010 via the playoffs. In terms of Neil Harris, yeah, you touched on him just a short time ago. He has a 17-year association with this club. It's also not the first time he's done this job. He did have a brief spell in caretaker charge just before Ian Holloway took over in January 14 before leading them 
to safety. He remained on the staff. It looks like he's got an opportunity now until the end of the season to show what he can do. Millwall, meanwhile, the team travelled to Bolton on Saturday looking for a win that would really put them within sight of safety. And Bolton, of course, a difficult ground for them. They haven't won there, Adam, in 43 years. Wow. Aidan, thank you.